it's your girl go mouth so today is a wash day okay praise the lord it's wash day it's really not wash day if my hair was braided it wouldn't be wash day but since my hair ain't braided and i've been working you know with this or whatever it is wash day so i know y'all like go mouth girl where your braids at because you always wash your hair in braids listen um I always wash my hair in braids. Am I, am I, is the lights too bright in here? Let me turn them down a little bit. I always wash my hair in braids, yes. But it's normally when my hair is further along in my in my relaxer stretch. And it gets a little bit more difficult to manage. That's when I will wash it in braids when I'm dealing with a lot more, you know, texture in my roots. But since my hair is uh, on nine weeks post, nine weeks post relaxer, Dicks, lax, or whatever you want to call it. Um, so I can wash my hair without braids. Still because it's not as tangly, tangly. So um, I'm going to just take, put, wash my hair in these two sections here. But I still wash my hair kind of the same way, but kind of not. But the first thing I do when I wash it that's not in braids, y'all already know what this is. This is S-Curl Spray in this bottle what this is right here i do mix my s curl spray like three parts s curl spray and one part water that means like three quarters of the bottle have we know which spray then the rest water just to stretch my s curl spray out some sort of last longer that's the only reason it ain't no health no health to have benefits or none of that that's just the only reason so i can stretch my s curl spray out y'all because i'm cheap and it'll last a little long okay it's it's basically water anyway with a little uh, 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 mineral or what is it i forgot what it is glycerin or something but anyway this is what dang, I'm, uh, there we go this is my hair um and i'm gonna just detangle it that's why i got ish curl spray so yes i detangle it's already detangled it uh like yesterday or whatever but but i'm finna wash it so when you're washing it you want to make sure you detangle it too. Yeah, I know there's some moisturizer. It's okay. It's okay. You can moisturize your hair before you wash it. That is much better because you got to comb it anyway. And you don't want to comb it when it's dry. So, ain't nothing wrong with moisturizing your hair um, before you wash it, okay? Ain't nothing wrong with it. And I got my little wide tooth comb or whatever. And for this, I'm going to start at the little ends because I'm trying to look in this little mirror over here. Because I'm going to start at the ends because, uh, you know, get the tangles out. We detangling right now. But my hair is pretty much detangled. Ain't no kinks in it or nothing, as y'all can see. It just slides right through with my wide tooth comb. Now, if this wasn't a wide tooth comb, now, we might have some problems. But my wide tooth comb, this, y'all, and all, uh, for real, for real, for real, this is the only comb I like. For real, this is the only comb I like to comb through my hair. Only, okay, the only comb I like to comb my hair with, cause I'm very, very tender headed, and this comb helps me a lot on my tender headed head. Okay, scalp. So comb through that, and you can, it 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 don't. I'm. I got a little bit of texture or whatever, but child, anybody here for that? Uh, what I'm gonna do? Where's it? Here. I got this bottle from Sally's, y'all. I, I throw the receipt, not the receipt, the whatever in the trash. This the, the tag. Root, it says root comb applicator. And it looked like this. How do YouTubers do it? I'm, I'm a YouTuber, yeah. You, you look like this. And it got each little thingy is a nozzle where you know the stuff can come out so as y'all can see i already put my water in and my water stopped right there and i put my shampoo in it and the shampoo of choice today is the argan oil sulfate free moisturizing shine shampoo okay so that's the shampoo that i put in this bottle already i'm probably gonna put a little bit more in here just for to put it in here and i am going to um also, y'all can see that going down in there. Ah, it looks funny, don't it? Ah, another one. Ah, okay. Then I'm going to put, ooh, 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 I'm going to put some peppermint oil in it. I'm going to put some peppermint oil in it. Peppermint oil, where you at? I probably won't put the peppermint oil in it because peppermint oil ain't been good and it ain't right here. So, 
Oh, there it is. 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 Got my peppermint oil. I'm gonna put a few drops in that. Shake that a little bit. Because, only because I want my little hair out to tingle or whatever. So I'm gonna try. Um, get a little tingling going on. Okay, that's just like a three quarter of a drop. Of, no, one. A little bit less than a half. I can't say it's a. It's a. It's a quarter. Put a few drops of peppermint. I'm gonna put the whole thing in there. Actually. No, I'm just squeeze most of it. Put that back in now. That probably ain't even enough to do nothing because the water gonna dilute it so much that it ain't, you know, it ain't gonna even be funny. So, put that in there. Shake it up. I can't shake it up and down because these things ain't got no cap on it. Oh, see? Why I did it? I be doing the most. Gosh. Ugh, come on, thing. Okay, I ain't got it. I ain't got it tight, sealed tightly. Anyway, that's what it looked like once it's all shook up. It smell like peppermint oil, so I guess I put enough in it. And I'm gonna go straight with a K to my roots, okay? And see if this gonna give me some lather because oh, let's see. I feel lather, so let's see. Oh. I figured I got this because I figured it'll help me more than um just the uh what's the name? What that is? That one little squirt bottle that I be using. And y'all can see it lathers cause it's stuff come out of each hole. Look y'all. Okay. Yeah, yeah that. <laughs> it come out of each little hole. So um it'll help me get my shampoo to my scalp where it needs to be okay because my scalp needs to be clean especially after using that wild girl honey um if y'all didn't watch my other video y'all <laughs> that wild girl honey it was leaving little scabs in my head and i was like mm -mm, nope nope not today and it did it like and i tried it three more times to just to be sure that's what it was and that's what it was they're not in there now but i just want to wash it out even though um it might have been just that bottle, but I ain't got time. Even though my it been, it was making my hair feel thin for a long time anyway. But I'm just so crazy. I just kept using it. So, but it's over now. It's over now. And, oh, Lord. I should have had my towel on that other towel, not this one. Okay, that's good. Okay. Give me some good out at the root. And this is a sulfate-free shampoo, I reckon. Yeah, it sure is. It's a sulfate-free shampoo. And I got all these suds up all of this grease ahead. That's a good old sulfate-free. I wonder if it's sulfate-free for real. One of these bottles be like, oh, sulfate-free shampoo shouldn't be suds like this on the first time on the oil to have. But, hey, I digress. If that's what the boss said, then that's what it is, right? Mm. Okay. Okay, bottle. Sulfate-free. Free my nature. But I like it though. I washed my hair with this the last time I washed my hair. Maybe the last two times. And I actually, it's a good shampoo. I like it. Cream of Nature is um something that I like. I got this. I got started using Cream of Nature because I do watch um other YouTubers. They give me some inspiration, you know. Y'all know y'all can't be doing everything every YouTuber say, okay? Because everything that works for us in them and them, it ain't work for you, okay? So you got to try to pretty much find your own way but kind of not but you can take a few of our hints and then tweak them into whatever work for your hair okay baby okay sugar okay okay whatever work for your hair now i'm gonna concentrate on this this here part right here when i dip my head over up in that sink and yonder you know, so i'm gonna uh, let me see this here Ooh, ooh. let's see what's gonna go let's see if that's gonna fuzz up i mean bubble up suds up which it did not. Okay. Let's try it again. Ugh. And when you um going like your your hair shaft like this part of your hair, you wanna not scrub it like that. You wanna just take your hands and go in, you know, straight motion, a straight downward motion. Or whatever motion you go in, make sure every it, it go the same way, okay? So, I'm going to wrap this piece up. Hold on, I'm going to finish with that. And then, when I rinse it out in the sink. 
Hold on. And then when I write it out in the sink, girl, I'm going to uh, do one section at a time. Okay? Okay. Now, I'm going to go and wash this side the same exact way as we just did this one. And then, once I get done with this side. Ooh, Lord. Come on, ponytail. Come on, ponytail. Ooh. I put that ponytail kind of tight. I wasn't supposed to be that tight because I felt some relief. But um, do this one here the same kind of way. How much I got left? Oh, ooh, I ain't got as much left. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this same process two times on each side. This thing got a lot of bubbles for for it to be sulfate free, and it's my first time. See, this ain't sulfate free, right there. Y'all can see that sulfate free in that yellow, sulfate free. Usually with sulfate free shampoo, I don't get this many bubbles like this here these mini suds on the first go round you feel me I, I get less bubbles on the first go round and then on the second go round i um that's when i get my bubbles but this shampoo is suds and already and my hair is oily and greasy and all of that so i don't i don't understand i guess there's some good old sulfate free child it seemed like sulfate not free shampoo, but I don't know. I tried to go for six months. Six months. Six to eight months. It all depends on what, what style I'm wearing in my hair at that time, okay? What style I'm wearing at that specific time in my hair journey. And y'all know I usually wear those braids that help me keep my uh stretch longer okay so that is it for me washing my hair now i'm gonna do just exactly what i did this time see all the shedding right here for some reason i feel like that side had a little bit more shedding or maybe i didn't notice it until i got a lot of it because it had to come from both sides but that's the shedding i got from just going through it you know what i didn't comb through this side that's what i didn't do Maybe that's why I shed like that because the first side shed in the comb. Girl, see, that's where the shed in from the first piece. Child, I don't, y'all know, don't do what I just did, but anyhow, untangle your hair before you wash it. And then when you do wash it, uh, make sure you, you're not balling it up, scrunching it up on, you know, the shaft of your hair. This, the length of your hair. Don't just make it ball up. And scrub your scalp, honey. Not with your fingernails, but with the, 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 you know, the ball part of your fingers right here. This part. Not like this. Like this. I ain't got no fingernails, so I can do that. A lot of y'all out there probably got on uh, those fingernails. I got long fingernails. The acrylics. Don't put them things in your scalp, honey. Don't do it. Don't do it. Now, I'm going to go rinse my hair one side at a time. And I'm going to come back and shampoo it. The same way I just did, once one side each, and then I'm gonna show y'all what my hair look like once it's done getting washed, okay? Okay, y'all, so this is what my hair looked like after the first go round. See, I got it all out, and my, ooh, my hair just good. That's some good shampoo, y'all. That's some good shampoo. My hair feel better just after the wash alone. Dang. Because my hair feels soft. And it was sulfate free, and my hair still feels off. Okay, okay, cream of nature. Wow, oh! come on, cream of nature. Okay, um, I'm gonna put this side back up, and we're gonna do this here shampoo thing once again in this body. I see, I ain't got nothing left, so I'm gonna do it again, and then I'll be back to y'all with the final results. Okay, y'all, I am back from my wash. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, let me tell y'all something about this shampoo, y'all. Y'all don't even understand. I wish y'all could feel the softness of my hair. Cream of nature, what you got in there, girl? What's in you? Talking about sulfate-free, and it feel like it's not a sulfate-free shampoo. It feel like it got a whole bunch of uh, sulfates and dish detergent and Dawn dish liquid and palm olive and stuff all up in there. But it don't, because my hair's still soft. My hair is still soft from that shampoo, y'all. Um, I don't even know what to say at this point, y'all. I don't even know what to say. I don't even know 
to say. I'm shook. <laughs> okay. See, I watch it in two sections. Come on, how don't tangle up in there. And it feels really soft. It don't feel stripped or nothing. It don't feel squeaky clean. Now, there was a time in my life where I used to wash my hair squeaky clean because I ain't know no better. And I thought my hair was supposed to be, you know, like squeaky clean. Like it feels so, like, squeaky clean. Like it, this feels still, this still feel. This still feel moisturized a little bit. A little bit. Now, I ain't gonna say it feel just moisturized with moisturizer, but it, my hair feels soft. That's a, that's a better word. Soft. So. And when, really, when I washed my hair this time with the, the last time with this, the last two times, I didn't really pay no attention of how it was because I wasn't really looking at it too much. But this time I'm like paying attention to detail and how my hair actually feels. And it feels great. And I like it. I really like it. Um, yes, I still do have my other shampoo, but it's good to switch up every now and then. I only have two shampoos total. So, you know, I'll go back and forth with both of those. But for right now, we're going to be on this cream of nature, okay? Um... The other one is, my other shampoo is not so fake free. So, I'll do, I'll do a, a whole shampoo video on there if y'all want me to. But anyway, that's what my hair look like. Fresh out the wash. And y'all, add some peppermint oil to y'all shampoo regimen, okay? Because it just take your shampooing up a notch. If you're not allergic to peppermint oil now, if you're not allergic now. Um, the, uh. This is by now. I have had this for so long, a couple of years now. And my shampoo, my peppermint oil is now right here. So it's not quite halfway gone. Because it got a little drop. You only use a few little drops at a time, and I got it from Amazon. In my head right now, I can feel like the tingling sensation from the peppermint oil, you know, stimulating my scalp and everything. So that makes it a plus plus for me, honey, y'all. Honey, y'all. Honey, child. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to end this video right here. And I will be back to you guys with a deep condition video, okay? All right, y'all. Thank y'all so much for watching. That's all I got to say in this video. And I will holler at y'all later. Bye.